There's no doubt that Australia is one of the most beautiful places in the world. The land down under has no shortage of opulent beaches, sweeping deserts, dense forests, and endless valleys. But for an overseas visitor, these areas are just waiting to be uncovered. Australia comprises the mainland of the Australian continent, the island of Tasmania, and numerous smaller islands. It is the world's sixth largest country by total area. However, as soon as you decide to visit a country, the first question that comes into your mind is what would be the safest place to visit? In each country, each city has its own characteristics, crime rates, etc. And the same is valid for Australian cities also. In this project, mining a historical data set, 2013, time range unknown, provided by the AFP, we will address the following questions. What is the topmost crime type in Australia by the total number of crimes in all major cities? Same question as above, but this time per city. What is the average number of crimes per city? Which city had the least crimes? Or in other words, what's the best city in Australia in terms of crimes? Even though the data set is not big, mining this toy, we will be able to develop our initial skills in Bash and .csv data processing. Learning Objectives By completing this project, you will learn to use the following bash commands. Advanced use of the bash commands cat, head, tail, sort, wc. Bash function creation. Bash if else. Bash for loop. And a sed, orc, and the use of regular expressions. The project ends with a full bash script that we used to find the best city in Australia in terms of number of crimes that happened pre-2013. You can download the project dataset from data.gov.au web portal, which provides an easy way to find, access and reuse public datasets from the Australian government. Data Preview Assuming you have saved the downloaded file, the first thing you want to perform is to convert the data into the .csv format. Type the following command in the terminal. This command, using command line interface of the Liber Office, which comes free with most of the Linux systems, converts all Excel.xls files in the current folder to .csv. Let's also simplify the name of the file with mv command. Awesome! Next what we'll do is get a sneak peek of our data. As a quick reminder, the cat command shows us all the lines in a file. As you can see, there are five rows with no data. They are occupied by a series of commas. We want to wipe out these rows using SED, Stream Editor. Let's run the following command. This will, in place, due to the option minus I, Delete the first five lines from the file. However, before we show the data again, we will want to use the tool called CSV Kit. The first command, CSV Cut, cuts out the first five columns and then pipes the output to the CSV Look command. Finding the number of rows and columns. There are two ways to do this. The hard way, counting columns. Step one, first get only the first row using head command. Step two, next use SED to remove everything except commas. To do this, we use a regex regular expression pattern. See the tutorial section for more details on the regex. Step 3. Finally, simply use wc command to count number of characters, commas. Let's see the command in practice. Counting rows. Now, let's find the total number of rows in the file well. 
the easy way. Let's now check the easy way. As the previous projects, we used the CSV kits command CSV stat to get the same stats, but in a much simpler way. Note that the CSV stat is smarter than WC minus one, as it omitted the titles line and counted only the data rows, finding the topmost crime in the whole country. To find the topmost crime that happened the highest number of times in Australia, we want to sort our crime data dash au dot csv file by the total column, column 11. As mentioned earlier, bash has a command just for doing that. And as you may have guessed, it's called sort. However, running sort on the dot csv will output all lines of the file on the screen, which is not essentially very useful. Instead, we would like to sort the file and then only show the first few lines of the sorted result. To do this, we'll need to use pipes as we did before. As a quick reminder, pipes are convenient because they allow you to move the output of a command into the input of another command without saving the intermediate result to a file. To sort our comma separated file by the total column, which is the 11th column, enter the following command. Now, using awk, see tutorials for details, you can only print the first column, which has the names of the crimes and the last or 11th column, total number crimes for that crime type. Now let's capture or tail the last line, tail minus n1, and print the first column and find the topmost crime. Our next compute quest is to find the total number of crimes, given a city name. This essentially will require us to compute the summation of a column, which contains the city names. Ideally, we would like to have a function like top underscore crime that would take an argument, for example Sydney, and tell us the top crime for that city. Let's start with a basic version first. Note that the CSV cut function can take column titles with the minus C option. Now, if we just want the top crime, we add tail minus N1 at the end, as follows. Now, let's build our desired function. For knowing more about bash function, please refer to the tutorial section. Example run. Note that the first, crime data dash au dot CSV, and second, city name colon Sydney, Arguments were automatically placed into the $1 and $2 variables inside the function. However, inside orcs call $1 and $2 represented the first crime type and second number of crimes columns of the piped output. Now we can slightly modify the above function so that it can also compute, given any city name, the average number of crimes. Here everything remains as above, except there's no sort function and the awk function computes the sum of crimes, column two, and then divides the sum by the total number of rows, nr. Our final quest in this project is to find the best city in Australia that had the least number of crimes over that pre-2013 unknown period. Essentially, we would need to find summation of the city columns and then compare the sums to find the city with the lowest total sum. To develop the code, we will reuse the average function, sum part, developed above and call it inside a loop. Some important points. Now let's see the full code. The first line in the script, crimestat.sh, indicates the system, bash, which program to use to run the file. If you get something like crimestat.sh command not found, probably the first line is wrong. Issue a where is in the shell to see how you should write this line. Also, do not forget to issue chmod plus x 
crimestat.sh to enable execution right on the script for you. The function total crimes is no different from the average crimes explained above, just that in the awk part, we do not divide total crimes by the number of rows. We read the first line of the input file, stored in the variable $1, as an array and store in the fields variable. In the for-loop part, we iterate over the field titles, field colon city names, except the first field, which is not a city. Inside the for-loop, we find the city that had the lowest number of total crimes, comparing with the previously stored maximum number of crimes, using a simple logic of find the lowest number from a set of given numbers.